Hello friends, how are you? Aman here. So guys, today's video is about the night shifts. Yeah. So we would discuss about the uncertainties you face during the night shifts. How how good the experience is. What's the adrenaline rush and how you know you survive the night shifts. So watch this video till the end and join me to explore the night shifts. This is my first night of the four set night shifts. Not too excited, ma'am. So, what are the three things you like about the night shift and three things you don't? Drop me in the comment below. Let so, uh, the night begins after you've changed and everything. Uh, I'll go to a night meeting. Uh, so, the night meeting would be attended by the medical registrars of the day and the night, the night team, the day team. Uh, the consultant will be on call and you know uh, we would be discussing which patients need to be you know plugged in the emergency which ones are the sick in the wards who needs to be seen first who needs to be kept an eye on and hence and so forth so let's go so i'm going towards amu to see where my bleep is and my phone is it's been okay so far just one hour down the shift going to the wards to see if you have the sick patients so guys, started at 9 o'clock, it's 11.30 in the night, looking okay so far, seen a couple of sick patients in the wards, couple of jobs in acute medical unit, uh, going back to acute medical unit to do some truck charts and everything, it's windy, quite windy today man, <laughs> so yeah, let's see how the night goes far, see you. Hello, hello. So guys, it's two o'clock. Been a busy night so far. A uh, couple of difficult cannulations, difficult catheterizations. One of the patients pulled his tracheostomy tube out. So, you know, calling the intensive care guy. So hopefully it's going well at the moment. So uh, as a tier two doctor, as a, you know, internal medicine trainee, you do some shifts which are called tier two shifts. So these are basically, you know, you bridge the gap between the registrar and the junior doctors in the wards. So they would call you for some advice or if they get stuck with some procedures, some sick patients, you know, so you get a call first and then you filter the calls and, you know, discuss it with the medical registrars. That's how it works, basically. So, yeah, it's been uh, slightly hectic. I wouldn't say I'm very tired. Yeah, just getting slightly drained off. But yeah, we still got about seven, eight hours of shift remaining. And uh, Currently, I'm heading to emergency department to clock few of the patients. And yeah, I'll keep you posted. See you. Hi, guys. So yeah, four o'clock, hectic night. So as I said, I went to ED, clocked a couple of patients there. Uh, now it's break time absolutely sleepy guys but you know this is the time of the night where you feel sleepy 4 4 30 something like this and then it gets on so just have something to eat or drink and yeah make sure you, you get through the remaining four or five hours of your shift so uh the challenges that we usually face in night shift is because there is what to say you know you have to optimize things with the limited resources you have so for instance if someone needs a scan which can be done in the morning so you don't press for it but for instance if someone needs a ct head or you know anything so you have to discuss with the radiology you know on call and you know get it sorted so it it does take some time but you know it's still very very doable so uh let's see i'll have a quick break and let's see what what morning brings on for us yeah, hi, good morning. Uh, this is one of the TA2 doctors calling from stroke. Uh, yeah, I'm actually struggling to put an IV line for a patient. Uh, my colleagues have tried, the NMPs have tried, and even I've tried. The patient is quite obese uh, with peripheral swelling, so we're really struggling. Uh, the patient is currently on IV fluids and IV antibiotics. Uh, yeah. Now, now, I'd be really grateful, you know, if you could kindly have a look at this chap here, yeah, because... 
uh, if if there were anything I could have switched over, or I could have. But there's a stroke as well, so you know we can't actually give anything over. Like, yeah. All right. I'll wait for it. Thanks. Cheers. Bye bye. Morning, guys. Six o'clock. A little bit fresh now. So the plan is to go to a couple of wards, see a couple of uh, patients who've been flagged to me, you know, being a little unstable. So, you know, the night's nearly going to end. It's been okay so far. The only challenges were, you know, few of the unwell patients who were you know, who are not going to make it. So breaking bad news with them and, you know, getting a further advanced care plan for them after discussion with the registrars and the other, you know, consultants around. So, yeah, it's been okay so far. Let's see how it goes. Another three hours. Good morning, guys. So after a long haul of 12 and a half hours night shift, I'm signing off of the hospital. Hope you like the video. If you've got any suggestions, any queries, just drop me something in the comments and I'll keep posting such videos. Take care. Cheers. Bye.